how the file system is actually implemented file system also resides on the disk this we understand file structure is logical or collection of related information this is a file so the disk provides in place rewrite and random access uh, abilities and the io transform is performed in terms of blocks of sectors again uh, we would be concerned with sectors we are only concerned with blocks so there is something called a file control block and the file control block just like the process control block is an information header of that particular file which is also stored inside the inside that the shaded area the directory structure you can say inside that you store the file control block for every single file inside your disk so every file will have what a file control block just like we said that every process has a process control block and anything that happens below that level how the logical blocks are maintained how they are accessed how they are mapped from logical address to physical address we do not worry about that we don't need to worry about that because there is a tiny computer inside that physical device which takes care of all of these things and there is a uh, supporting software also in installed in your operating system which is called the device drivers which uh, takes care of all the underlying hardware issues of the physical disk so we are not concerned with that we simply say that we can see the existence of the physical drive using this device driver as a, as a software entity and we are simply sending a request of read write to that software entity as logical blocks right and this is again a, a, a representation and of how what i've just said can be represented that uh, uh, this part the io control and device part is uh, we we don't bother about that but we are actually on uh, on on this level actually inside the logical file system as well so these things will be inside the file system how the file organization module is implemented what is the basic file system so we will be looking at the logical file system uh, and these informations we although we are going to study in this chapter how these are implemented but uh, the users they only see the logical view of the files which uh, in the case of a graphical user interface you see as a, an icon or in the case of uh, the command line interface you see as a file name so this is the this is that part but the these parts we will be seeing in this chapter so let's see what those are so uh, first there is a boot control block so we have system calls at the api level but how do we implement their functions on disk and in memory structures we have a boot control block which contains information needed by system to boot the operating system from that volume it is needed if volume contains operating system usually first block of volume and then there is a volume control block which is the super block or master file table contains the volume details like the total number of blocks number of free blocks uh, all the information about that uh, file uh, that uh, disk and the directory structure organizes the files using names and their ids called inode numbers and master file tables and this is a uh, how a file control block or an fcb uh, look like it contains details about the file like its id their permission size and dates ntfs by the way stores into in uh, uh, the master file table using relational database structures so the you can say and we will be looking at uh, the fat structure in detail over here but ntfs the main difference how the F ntfs is faster than fat is that uh, it uses advanced uh, database structures to uh, organize and maintain files so whenever the operating system is running everything that is happening inside the file is loaded into the memory and once it is loaded into the memory uh, you can do th certain things with those uh, memory uh information about the file so you can say the the area that i shaded in the picture that i've been uh, showing you a lot of times that a part of that is loaded inside the memory for fast access so mount table storing file system mounts mount points file system types these are loaded inside the uh, memory buffers that hold data blocks from secondary storage so obviously the uh, a, an application program will be requesting uh, a block from the operating system so the operating system will be bringing that into its some kind of temporary memory which is called a buffer so that uh, that uh, the uh, then it can be returned to the user that data 
so open returns uh, file handle for subsequent use so this is also inside memory whenever you open a file uh, a logical existence for that file is created uh, which is represented by the file handle and data from uh, read eventually copied to specified user process memory address so the the data which is uh, transferred from the physical storage to buffers is then transferred to the user's address space uh, the user's processes address space there are three things this is the user space where the user is using system calls then there is a kernel memory and then there is the physical storage inside the physical storage there is file system which contains the file control blocks and then there is the directory structure which uh, manages how the files are stored and where the logical block numbers are stored so the directory structure will actually be containing the logical block numbers the physical location of all the file elements which are stored on the physical disk uh, disk itself so uh, whenever the user uh, uses the open system call the directory structure is used to locate the con file control block and once the file control block is uh, accessed the kernel uses though the information like the permission information and other stuff to verify whether this user is allowed to uh, you know um, access this file and once the access is granted uh, the file control block tells which part of the directory structure contains the addresses for the logical blocks inside the disk this file will be now entered into the opened uh, files inside that kernel but what what do we do when we want to read from that file so these are two different things because opening the file simply returns uh, after validating the data it simply returns the handle to the uh, actual file inside the directory structure but when you want to read to the file read from the file uh, the read system call requests the operating system to read from that file and the operating system looks for that file inside the open file table for that particular process and once it locates that file it goes to the system wide open file table so you can say the directory structure will be backed up in this location the open wide system file table from where the operating system will know which data blocks to access and to read from taking into account the file control block at the same time so all the information like the file size the different timestamps and all, all the other information is stored here so uh, side by side this can also be accessed so this these are uh, you know uh, a typical way of opening a file and uh, reading from that file using uh, directory structure and the file control block and it may vary for different uh, operating systems so how does the FAT uh, does that so uh, FAT is actually just a variant vari variant of different algorithms which are used to store the block numbers inside the directory structure and um, the directory implementation is the higher level than the files so it can contain linear list of file names with pointers to the data blocks and it is simple to program and time consuming to execute because in order to look for files you have to use linear search which is time taking and you could use some kind of trees to make this process uh, faster and then there could be hash table which is a linear list with hash data structure and decreases directory search time but then sometimes there are collisions because uh, some results uh, hash to the same locations uh, so in data structures you may have studied uh, hashing and collisions